The grave of one of the great heroes of the age of maritime exploration has been found on the route of Britain's planned new high-speed railway. The final resting place of Matthew Flinders, the man whose work led to the naming of Australia, had been lost, but archaeologists have now uncovered the remains of his coffin. David Silito has more. This nameplate solves a mystery. The final resting place of one of the giants of the age of exploration, Matthew Flinders a man whose voyages and writings gave us the first complete picture of Australia and helped inspire the naming of the country. We're in the burial ground of St James Gardens and it was a burial ground that started in the late 1800s and closed in the uh, mid-1900s in a time when London was going through massive social, economic and um, you know, burgeoning population. And so it would have been a really very different landscape. London was just becoming um, a metropolis. The site is an old graveyard next to Euston Station, which is due to be the London terminal for HS2. However, before building work can begin, 40,000 bodies have to be moved from an old graveyard. Matthew Flinders had died aged just 40 the day before the book and maps that were to make his name were published. And it was always known he was buried here somewhere, but his headstone had long disappeared. He, with the rest of those buried here, will now be moved to another, as yet undisclosed, burial site. David Silito, BBC News.